Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu. Welcome to another episode of Learn New Epic in 5 minutes. So, today we'll talk about HTTP requests. So, everything that I did with um, on my videos, a lot of stuff on my videos are with HTTP requests with connection to the API system. So, let's talk about basic about this HTTP request. So, first you have to go to activities and search for a HTTP request. Before, uh, by default, you will not find this activity. To be able to find this activity, you need to go and uh, search for Web API. So, you will go to all packages and install UiPath to Web API, and this will provide you a HTTP request. Now, there are two types of HTTP requests. It's the HTTP request that we'll talk today that is under web application, and you'll have work, orchestrator HTTP request that is dedicated to control the orchestrator where the robot is connected. So we'll not talk about this one. We'll talk about general HTTP requests and how to work with API systems. Done. When you drag and drop this um, HTTP request here, you will have a wizard. This wizard will appear only one time when you drag and drop the stuff. This wizard basically is similar to, uh, to Postman. You are able to test the command. You can put your commands here. You can put the, here the parameters and the attachments, and you can set the type of authentication and so on. So you'll make a test here. You'll send a preview, and you'll do the test. But today, I will not focus on this because I consider that more than 85% of the, of the people that um, work with API, they use Postman. Good. So let's understand. In Postman, everyone um, normally uses Postman to test the APIs. You can see here even the the not documentation of the orchestrator. It's the, with Postman. Postman UI pad rocks. So inside inside of this documentation, basically you have uh, all the stuff of the orchestrator. It's with um, comments from Postman. So that's why I highly recommend to use Postman. Let's understand what you configure in Postman and what you configure in HTTP request. How to move this stuff. So first stuff of the the comments are the URL and the type of the the method that you'll do. You'll do a get a post, a push, the delete, and so on. Yeah. So let's see how we'll configure this inside of. Um, UiPath. So after I drag and drop the HTTP request, to be able to configure this, I will put here on the input. I have the here I will put the URL as a string expression, and then I have the mod methods exactly like in Postman: get, put, delete, and so on. Yeah. Then here you have the accept format. So more than eighty percent of the stuff that I created with JSON, ten percent with uh, with XML, and I have some custom stuff also. Good. So here you you select the the format. The same stuff. If you have a Postman command and you run the, the Postman command here on the body, you will see here that here you have uh, JSON, uh, XML, and so on. Yeah. So this are next step that you have to configure in Postman. So for your command, you will provide parameters and you will provide headers. Let's see how we'll configure this inside of UiPath Studio. Inside of UiPath Studio, on the activities you have here parameter headers. And you have I here parameters, yeah? Okay. Then you have the authorization. So here the authorization is like this. In Postman, you have a different, um, uh, you have a dedicated field for authorization, and you select the type of the authorization, yeah? In your iPad, you will be like this. You have simple authorization here with the username and password. You have one um, uh, authentication, uh, auto authentication one. An O2 authentication token. Normally, when I use this one, what I will do inside of headers here, when you send the raw command, I will put authorization and I will put my token. Yeah. So I, I prefer not to use these two stuff, but this is my uh, my path, my way to to do stuff. Here again, you have the body format. So inside of the headers of Postman, you will see that you have here uh, uh, the content type. Yeah. So here you will have the the content type of selection. So you will see. Here you will build JSON or XML, and here you will select the, the type of um, body if it's a JSON or XML. Yeah, to be able to build JSON XML, you have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel how to build XML and how to create uh, JSON. Yeah, and you have multiple examples with um, HTTP requests. And the last stuff, the last stuff is this. So let's say that you have to uh, to do an uh, form data. Yeah, a form data it's a complex. Um, uh, um, a complex body that will com uh, contain files and also uh, some string data. Yeah, so you can select here custom or you can select here any. But to be able to build this form data, I don't have a nice path using um, uh, HTTP request. So in this case, I use here on this video on the form data when I want to upload files with multiple par multi part data, I use vb.net. So inside of this video, you will see that you will find them. Um, uh, a code where how to call vb.net or how to call c sharp 
and you have the invoke uh, invoke method and this will uh, will upload your file with the um, uh, multi-part form data yeah so i don't use uh, i don't have a dedicated stuff for uh, for uh, http request with uh, form data so as usual if you like my movies please subscribe to my channel comment to my movies and tell me what else you want to see inside of my channel thank you very much for watching stay safe have a good one bye bye